Welcome back, Python learners, for our continuation continuation of the topic of files. In a previous YouTube video, I showed you how to output a file. Now we're going to read a file for input. So if you look right here, we have a text file and we have a program. So make sure you download them both to the same folder or directory. So I'm going to open up my download manager. And there they are. There's the text file, and then there is the program. So let's go inside and take a look at what's inside that text file. I'm going to ask you to look, and let me reposition it, and I'm going to ask you to identify how many rows of data and how many columns and what is separating them. If you said one, two, three, four, five, that is correct, five rows. And if you said three columns, you are correct. What separates the columns is a comma and you notice this is a string this is a string and this could either be a float or an integer but seeing that this one's a float we should probably treat them all as float so we're going to shut this file and remember the name of it is file read sample dot text so now i'm going to come over to my beautifully crafted code i'm going to ask you to take a look at what we're doing here Here's the main, and if you remember, we drop down, skipping over the main, but Python recognizes that there is a function called main. There's also a function called output line that takes field one, field two, field three, and a Boolean to let you know if the last field, which is three, should be formatted as numeric. Here's the piece of the code that starts the main up, and we come up here. And what we do, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open this file, and instead of a W, we're going to do a read, a quick quiz. How many parameters am I passing to the open function? If you said two strings, you are absolutely correct, and the variable file input points to that file. Remember, that file name is the one that you should see here. We come in and then we're going to say file input read line. And then we strip on the rec. So we read the line. So we say file input read the first line. So we're going to come over to our file. I probably should open it up and have it ready for us so you guys can look at it. And it looks something like this. So we read the first line. This entire whole line is then put into this variable record input. That is how Python is able to extract the first record and import it or bring it into our program. Notice I say record input strip, which stands for write strip, the new line character. So what it does, it gets rid of the new line character that which we can't see is right here, right here, right here, right here, and right here. Then we put the headings out and then we print out that whole record as a whole. Then we enter a loop and we say why record input is not empty. So as long as I have a record, we get Brian and we put it out to the screen and then see these two lines of code, we repeat it. We ask Python to retrieve the next row, which is this one. And it's put into this variable rec input. We strip the new line character and we come back up and we say is rec input not equal to a blank, which it is, and it puts it out to the screen. Then we get the third, and then we get the fourth and fifth. Let me run the code so you can see it. You can see that the file data is read into our program and we put it out to the screen. We have not separated the fields yet, just a simple read. That means the output line function is not being used at this point. 